Is Matthew out of surgery? Yes, he is. And? You'll have to talk to the doctor. All right. Well, where is she? Mr. and Mrs. Buchanan. Dr. Pryor, what's going on? Uh, how's Matthew? The surgery didn't go as well as we had hoped. I have to call you back. Matthew's doctor is here. What? Oh, my God. OK, hey, call me when you know something. I can't believe this. What happened to Matthew is my fault. You just punched him, right? And he fell, and he hit his head, and now he's having brain surgery. Hey, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. What's a coincidence? Well, did you see everyone's favorite patriarch on TV? It's all everyone's talking about. When this lackey TV producer asks me about Clint still not acknowledging that I'm his son, since he confessed every other horrible thing that's happened in this town. What I don't get is, why did Clint confess it all? Hmm? What suddenly made him bare his soul? What's happening now? No, I, ju I just got here, Clint. They're bringing Tess in now. I, I know we have a long road ahead of us, but I am so relieved that we will finally get our daughter back. I just hope that Jessica gets back here before my heart gives out. Let go of me! Let me go! Oh! I'm sorry I can't do more. Uh, no, listen, she's getting the help that she needs because of you. You made this happen. Thank you. It was the least that I could do. Uh, listen, I will check in with you later. Bye. Tess is finally at St. Anne's. So you made the deal with Cutter? Yeah. He took me for a bundle, but it's done. Now you can tell your good-for-nothing wife to take a hike. I already did. I'm a coward and a hypocrite. I'm always pushing my mother, be brave, be strong. Yet I didn't have the guts to tell my husband the truth. <laughs> that the baby I told him I was carrying never existed. Yeah, well, I found out what happens when you tell the truth. I told Joey everything. You confessed? How could you do this to me, Aubrey? Where am I gonna live? I mean, at least all the lies I told him didn't prevent me from keeping a roof over my Calm head. Calm down, okay? I convinced Joey that if he threw me out, Ryder would end up in foster care. Oh my God, thank Vishnu. No, it's not a good thing. I hurt Joey. You don't understand, you should have seen his face. It broke his heart when I admitted that Cutter and I have just been conning him this whole time. I just hear my name. How did you get in here? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna turn that frown upside down. I have good news. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Kill my stupid husband for ratting me out! Please, please be oh. with her! I, mean, I, I am sorry, ma'am, but she is a danger to the staff and to herself. And you too, bitch! Come on, come on. Clint doesn't have a soul to bear. Trust me, I don't know what inspired dear old dad to perform those public mea culpa, but whatever the reason, he did it for himself. Probably right. I just hope that Bo didn't buy into any of Clint's crap. What happened during the surgery, Dr. How Pryor? is he? How's Matthew? We don't know yet. I'm sorry, but unless you're a family member, I need to speak to Mr. and Mrs. Buchanan in private. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Look, my, my daughter is... Does she really need a straight jacket and a padded cell? We've been instructed to treat her as extremely violent. I would like to go in, please. With all due respect, ma'am, I would advise against that. I understand your concern, but, you know, that 
That's my child in there. And I need to see her. We'll be right outside. Okay. Press the red button if you need help. Stop pretending to care about the kid. I do care about. The we kid. don't need Joey anymore either, because I just cut a deal with Clint. Got Tess committed. Really? Still jealous? Of you and Tess? I only married her so I could succeed where you had failed, namely in squeezing every dime out of your husband. See, that's my new account balance, mm. thanks to a generous transfer from your beloved father-in-law. <laughs> oh my God, Aubrey! All three of us are set for life. We can be together again. I want you back. You know, I didn't take your advice. I know you wanted me to play things close to the vest, but I couldn't pretend that there was nothing wrong between Aubrey and I anymore. Not after Kelly almost died. And life is too short to waste another minute with Aubrey. All right, what did you tell her? That I knew everything. That she and Cutter lied to me about being brother and sister, that they were actually lovers. And that the only reason she married me was for our family's money. And what did she say to that? She admitted to everything. Of course she did. Because she also told me that she loved me. Oh. That her feelings were real and that she had changed. Oh. I hope you threw that little bitch out. No, Dad, no, I didn't. During Clint's big show, I was with Natalie. How is she doing? Any news about Liam? Not yet. She's putting on this brave face, but she's a wreck. That's why I'm here. I was hoping to sneak her in some contraband grub. Not the food's gonna help. Coming right up. Hey, kiddo. Hey. Hey, there's my handsome boy. How was today's session? I really like Dr. Buhari. I know. It's crazy what happened to her. I can't believe Dr. Schaefer killed her and then stole my baby cousin. Do you like Dr. Schaefer? She's okay. She thinks that I could stop homeschooling in the fall. What does that mean? She wants me to go back to Landview High in September. Yeah? How do you feel about that? Did you talk to Destiny? Is Matthew okay? We don't know anything yet. Destiny hung up on me when the doctors came back. Did she tell you why Matthew had to have brain surgery all of a sudden? I, I mean, uh, what happened? Did, did, was he hurt or something? I, I have no idea, Nate. All Destiny told me was that Matthew had a headache. A, a headache? Um, do they know what caused it? What caused it? Was it like a migraine? Yeah, I don't or... know. Why? I just, uh, I just feel bad for Matthew. Uh, Nate, since when? What? You can't stand Matthew. Where is this coming from? <sighs> Mr. and Mrs. Buchanan, Matthew survived the surgery, but the bleeding on his brain was worse than we realized going in. It was a very complicated procedure. But he's going to be all right, isn't he? I'm afraid we don't know. September's like a million years away. I'm sure I'll be okay by then. Natalie's hungry. Carlotta went a little overboard. Dad, I made a card for Aunt Natalie. Do you think you can bring it to her? Yeah. Oh, she'll love it. Thanks, dude. Aww. See you later. Oh, bye. See ya. So, did you like the new doctor? Whatever. What do you mean? What's the difference? 
You think she's gonna change anything? When September comes around, I'm still gonna be a loser. Came in here all by yourself? You're either the bravest or the dumbest person I've ever Tess, seen. I need you to understand that Clint and I are doing this for your own good. I need you to understand that I don't need my arms and my hands to hurt you. I'm sure that's true. And even if you do, you are a part of our daughter and we care about you. God, you're boring. Tess, you're out of control. Yeah, well, you haven't seen anything yet. You were quite willing to marry a con man who was more than happy to sell you to Clint. So how much did I go for? Do you know from the minute you entered Cutter's life, he was plotting against you, and you never saw it coming? Since you came back, you've managed to stay a step ahead of Brody and, and me, but not anymore. You finally made a big mistake, and so it's over now, okay? You lost. It is time for Jessica to come back and be a mother to her two children. You want to be with me. I told you already, Cutter, I love Joey. No, you don't. You don't. Those feelings aren't real, Aubrey. What we have, that's real. With you married to someone else. The things between Tess and I are done. Our, what we have is really good. We just got derailed. It's okay, though. I fixed everything. You did? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to play house anymore, all right? I mean, snagging the kid, that was, that was a good move. But now that Tess is in St. Anne's, Jessica's gonna come back. Ryder's gonna go back to his mommy. So you don't need to play Mrs. Cleaver anymore. You can dump Joey. Come on. I can give you everything you want. Take the deal, Aubrey. What else do you have now that Joey knows everything? Wait, you, Joey what? She admitted everything to Joey. And now he hates her guts. You're all Aubrey has left. Joey, I hope you didn't buy that load of crap that Aubrey was trying to sell you. You don't honestly think she has feelings for you, do you? No, no, no. No, absolutely not. It's just that she pointed out the fact that if we split up, you know, we lose custody of Ryder. And I can't let some strangers take care of my sister's child. I know I don't want my grandson in foster care. But Tess is now at St. Anne's, and soon Jesse will be able to be a mom again to Ryder and Bree, and then you can kick that Aubrey to the curb. I just want you to watch your back. Make damn sure that you're free of that woman. Look at me, Dad. There's nothing more that I want than to be free of her, too. All right, and then maybe I can have a chance to go ahead and get Kelly back. But anyway, what about you? What about me? Dad, you just confessed to everything on TV. I mean, what is going to happen to you when you get out of here? You let me worry about my confession. <laughs> Why did you do it? You've been dodging these charges for months. What made you come clean now? I know I'm not Matthew's biggest fan, but I wouldn't wish brain surgery on my worst enemy. I'm sure Destiny will call as soon as she hears something. Yeah, I don't know that either. She might not be able to. Destiny said the cell phone reception there really sucks. Maybe you should go be with her. Yeah. You think I should? Yeah, she's, she's probably all by herself. Yeah, you're absolutely right. She sounded like she was starting to freak out. Okay, so go. But, but keep me posted, okay? Mm-hmm. And even if we're not friends, I'm still pulling for Matthew. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, my God, Dina, I did this. I did this to Matthew. We were able to clear up the bleeding in Matthew's brain, but the trauma from the surgery could still cause his brain to swell. Can't you do something to prevent that? Yes, I've already put Matthew on steroids and anticonvulsives. We're monitoring his intracranial pressure. But what are the odds that this is going to happen? We need to keep a close eye on him. Okay, we'll say it does happen. Um, what is the what is the treatment? <laughs> I mean, there is there a treatment? I'm afraid not. Can we see him? Of course. He should be back any minute.